Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of The Buzz. And Todd, uh, thanks for letting me kick this off this week. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we have a guest this week. Christine Schneider is with us. And just like last week we said, Christine will be talking to us about uh, some wellness activity and some things that's coming around. So Christine, welcome. Thank you. Why don't you share with the group, what do you do around here and, and what's the program you'd like so, to talk about? I'm the health and wellness manager here at Schneider National and I like to think that my job is to make sure that everybody can come to work every day, healthy, ready to go, and you know, just live long, productive lives. Very good. So this program, Shape Up Schneider, what, what is that and how long have we been doing this? Well, so as part of the wellness program, we try to make sure that we have different initiatives out there and different ideas to kind of kick it up a notch and give people an opportunity to do something different to remind them about health and fitness. So we do two fitness events a year, or two health events a year. One is around the holidays, Maintain, Don't Gain, where we try to encourage people not to gain that additional holiday weight over the holidays. And then the second one, we usually run during the summertime, and it's called Shape Up Schneider. And we concentrate more on fitness during Shape Up Schneider. So it kicks off on June 3rd, and we encourage every associate to just take part of it. Um, each operating center might do something a little bit different. Some of them will lead daily lunchtime walks. Some of them will do a little Biggest Loser contest along with it. But the whole idea of it is for me to spend some time being active and to kind of make a, a pledge to be active. Because I don't know about you guys, but you have a busy day and sometimes you just don't fit in that fitness. But if you make a, a promise to someone or if you join a group or you start to write it down, it encourages you to spend the time for that. Mm -hmm. So we have a new activity tracker this year on our... Um, new benefit portal, which I'm sure both of you have yep. looked at, right? Great program. On the new benefit portal, you'll be able to log on and you'll put in the minutes that you exercised okay. today. And you can choose the kind of exercise that you do, but you'll put in your minutes. And then you'll start to see a little bit of a competition out there. So my goal is always to beat the NDOC, because that NDOC, those guys are exercising all the time there. I want Green Bay to beat NDOC. Or maybe it's Fontana. You know, I, I just I, I have a little bit of a competition that mm -hmm. I want to see who can exercise, yeah. who can do this the most. But really, I want to get more drivers out there because last year we had about 500 drivers involved in this, and we've got a lot bigger fleet than that. So I'd like to see that get a little more lofty. And drivers, it's, it's kind of tough for drivers to participate just because it's a busy, busy lifestyle, busy work environment, and kind of sometimes tough. But we were talking earlier that, uh, you know, Todd spent some time with uh, Don Osterberg talking about hours of service. Hours, mm -hmm. The hours of service 30-minute break requirement may be an opportunity to use that, correct? Right, because 30 minutes a day would be a perfect amount of time to exercise. You have to take the break anyway. And just think about it. You and I know from sitting at our desks that if I sit all day long, I start to kind of lose my oomph a little bit. But if I stand up and move a little bit... So if our drivers have to take that break, what a great time to get out, walk around a little bit, do some stretching. And don't forget that our Atlas therapists have those fitness guides out there. for They have exercises that the drivers can learn to do in their trucks or around their trucks. Mm -hmm. And the OCs all have um, fitness equipment for them. So at Schneider, we try to make it available for you, but... You have to make the commitment to do it. Well, and I think that's the key, is uh, Christine talked about uh, the commitment. And so it, it really does come down to, uh, to understanding that being healthy is an important aspect of life. And, and just to acknowledge, uh, one of the three of us uh, has really um, lost some weight recently. Kelly uh, has committed to... Uh, to doing that, it certainly isn't me yet, um, and so congratulations on that, Kelly. Uh, yeah, and, and he committed to it because he got back into uh, to baseball. Yeah. And although the team's not doing that well, uh, you're actually <laughs> doing uh, much better personally from a, a yeah, health perspective. So congratulations. Thank you. And next week's edition of the Buzz, we'll be talking about how bad our baseball team is. <laughs> but, so, Christine, how do we how do we sign up for this? There is no sign up for it. You can stop at one of the Atlas therapists at one of the at one of the um, larger OCs and talk to them, and they'll give you some tips and hints. But all you have to do really is to log onto the benefit portal and track your activity every day. Mm. Sounds good. Awesome. Now some news you could use, Todd. We we have uh, some trucker buddies that um, 
you know, a part of that organization, and they were recipients of the of the March Award. So they uh, very exciting news around Trucker Buddies. Yeah, John Liebes and uh, Jackie Knight Liebes. Uh, I hope I'm saying that name right. Yeah. Um, were the recipients of uh, Trucker Buddy for the month of March, which is really kind of a neat uh, recognition. So congratulations on being our Trucker Buddies of the month for uh, March. Very good. And uh, Christine will be interested in this, but you know, obviously the discussion board on Crossroads is a vehicle for people to kind of provide information and provide feedback. And um, again, there still appears to be an appetite to, for answers to a lot of those questions. And it's very difficult for us to be able to respond to every one of those. But believe you me, the, the you know every comment that comes through, we read those things and make sure that that uh, the feedback is filtered to the to the place where the, the, the organization can best benefit from your feedback. So it's not that we're not reading those those discussions, but just a reminder that not every one of those messages will be uh, you know, responded to, you know, one on one, if you will. And, and the last piece of news is a, a rather sad uh, piece of news, and. And it is uh, one of the realities of the business we're in, and, and there are tragic uh, events that do take place in, in this business. We had one take place uh, this week earlier in California, so if anyone has uh, seen the news clip, uh, one of our teams uh, was involved in a single vehicle uh, accident where it left the roadway, and uh, one of the team partners uh, died in that accident. And so certainly our hearts go out uh, to the family. Uh, to the team partner that was a part of that as well that uh, that survived um, our condolences and you know certainly something that uh, that we we don't like to experience those are the uh, very difficult calls that we take sometimes given the uh, the industry we're in and uh, we're very proud of our our safety record however um, these things do happen uh, and I just want to make sure that uh, you understand we're obviously aware of that accident and our uh, condolences to the family. Yeah, and, and every every time a bad accident occurs, I mean, we mourn the same for every issue. And so, boy, um, when bad things happen, it, it certainly does hit close to home. Even even if it's within our industry, you just hate to see, you know, that kind of thing happen. Mm -hmm. So our core value of safety, first and always, that is why it's so important. Because not only is, you know, accident, accidents are costly, but the way they change people's lives, and we just want to make sure that we want to uh, be safe and and um, to Christine's healthy. be healthy and, and be well. Um, coming up next week, uh, you could expect to see a new poll on on Crossroads. We are um, or on the buzz. We wanted to give some feedback around how what are some of the activities that you do that contribute to health and wellness. And so that'll be a great opportunity for Christine to get some of your feedback on some of those best practices that perhaps. Uh, others will benefit from. So watch for that next week. And we're still, we're still working on some guests coming in. Chris Lofgren is still on the, on the docket, so we're looking forward to perhaps bringing him in. Todd, anything else going on? No, thank you to Christine. We really uh, enjoyed having you. Thanks for a great, uh, um, some great information. That uh, Shape Up kicks off the same week as uh, Associate Appreciation Day, so great. Uh, make a commitment to, uh, to shaping up and Come see us. Uh, we'll, we're out in the field for Associate Appreciation Day. Sounds great. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Drive Thanks, safe. Everybody.